Hi, it's Maxine K and Yoga from the Greater Philadelphia Center for Spiritual Living. How are you doing today? We're here with another love note because we just love bringing them to you, Reverend Mike and I. We love staying connected with you and Yoga particularly loves to stay connected with you. And she knows that she helps you remember to chill a little bit. Uh, there was a, a young man one time who met her at a, a little party and he was holding yoga on his lap. He was maybe about 10, 12 years old. And he said, yoga is the chillest dog I have ever met. <laughs> and she does help us remember about serenity and relaxation and peace. But we're busy, even though the days are flying by and we uh, aren't out in the world as much as we were uh, a number of months ago. Some a little bit, some a little more, some not at all. Uh, but the days are just flying by and it just seems as though we have so much to do every day. And, and that's fine because we're here to live our lives as fully and completely as we can to do the things that are wonderful that we're able to do, utilize our talents and our gifts, connect with other people, make a difference in the world. Sometimes we get a little bit too involved with thinking, we of ourselves have to do it all. And I have something on my refrigerator that my mother had on her refrigerator for years. And after she passed in um, 1994, I kept this and I keep it on my refrigerator now. It's a very good reminder and would like to share it with you. It simply says, don't feel totally, eternally, irrevocably responsible for everything. That's my job, God. <laughs> ah, here we can take a deep breath of life and remember, ah, yes, we're capable of doing so many things and we're wonderful about doing them. We bring our greatest gifts and abilities to everything that we do. It is our consciousness of joy and, and a readiness to let God be God in us that allows us to make a difference in our own worlds, with our loved ones, our families, our friends, our co-workers, the community, and the larger world itself. And that all happens because we can remember that we are the instruments through which God is expressing every day. So my main thing to ask each day once I am centered with that divine presence and remember that that's the power within me, power for good within me, the same power for good that's within me with everyone that is mine to use. And I'm here to allow it to use me as well. So once I've connected consciously, I can't disconnect because <laughs> we can never be outside the presence of God. But once I remember and consciously reconnect in my awareness, with that divine presence and power, then there's only one thing I need to ask each day or every moment or whenever it occurs to me. And that is, what is mine to do? What is mine to do? What is it that the intelligent, creative, loving, compassionate power of this universe would like to express through me? What is mine to do this day? What is mine to do in this moment? And how wonderful it is to realize that we are not to feel totally, eternally, irrevocably responsible for everything, because whose job is that? What did you say? Whose job is that? That's God's job, and God is always on the job. Oh, what a relief. What a relief that is. So Yoga and I are very glad that you have joined us today, and we hope that tomorrow, which is Sunday, that you'll be with us for a live stream Coming to you from Sweet 16, where it's just Reverend Mike and Yoga and our small production crew show up to bring this to you every Sunday morning. And you just access it by going to our website. And it is cslphilly.org. cslphilly.org. And that's where you can click the link and you can find yourself either on Zoom, not Zoom, that comes later. You can find yourself either on YouTube or on Facebook, and those live streams are very, very good. Our beloved Jeff Messino is doing an awesome job with making sure that these Sunday mornings are really delightful for all of us. 
yoga is a very important part of that too. You'll see that when you tune in. If you can't join us at 10.30 Eastern Time, <laughs> then just check the um, same website, same link. Check and see uh, past live streams on Sunday. You can also check <laughs> the um, past archived love notes from Reverend Mike and me. <laughs> she seems to want to say something, but she hasn't yet learned her English words. Working on it, huh? <laughs> and you can also make a wonderful contribution to our center on that website. Just uh, go to the donate button. And we're so grateful for how you, our beloved friends and family, are keeping us healthy and alive while we are waiting to be opened up again and see each other in person. So thanks for keeping it going. It's up to you, it's up to all of us, and we're grateful to do it. In fact, maybe that's what's ours to do right now. <laughs> so God bless, stay healthy, wealthy and wise, and we'll see you soon. Bye for now. <laughs>